I have been through all of the P3 papers and I've picked out all of the lenses questions and all of the possible ray diagrams that they have ever asked and I have summarised them into these five here. You may be surprised that there are only five, these do come up a lot, but as always the same questions come up over and over again. So if you learn these, learn them really well. So I have summarised the um, wordy bit of the question because they were really wordy and I couldn't be bothered to write it all down. This is a converging lens and you need to draw what happens to the rays. So they've come in from the right hand side, you will see that the direction arrows are on them and they converge to a point over here. This point here, this isn't part of the exam question, but it's good for you to know, is our principal focus. You may or may not get marks for it, but it's always very, very good habit to draw the arrows on to show the direction of light. So this is a diverging lens, and it wants to know where the principal focus is. So with a diverging lens, the, lens come, the light comes in like this. Here are my arrows. They go into the centre of the lens and then they get refracted away like this. I'll just draw the same on the other side. The actual drawing here isn't part of the exam question, but it helps me to explain why. So this is what happens in the light in a diverging lens. I'll just put my arrows on there for you. Now you may think that the principal focus would be one of these on the other side. But with a diverging lens, once you've drawn the rays going in one direction, what you need to do is to track the lines backwards. Now this is generally done with a dashed line to where they meet. And you'll see that for a diverging lens, the principal focus is here in front of the lens. So, use a ruler. I have put this in bold because it actually says use a ruler in nearly every single exam question I have seen, and it mentions it in the mark scheme. If you do not use a pencil and a ruler, you will not get full marks. So I'm about to draw some lines. If you're confused by the lines that I draw, I suggest you go and consult my previous video all about lenses and ray diagrams. So the first line I'm going to draw, and I'm only going to be talking about the top of the image here, because the bottom of the image sits on the axis. The first line I'm going to draw is from the top of the diagram, across to the lens, and then down, oops, down through the principal focus. The second line that I'm going to draw is from the top of the image down through the middle of the lens. Now, these two are moving away from each other. They're never actually going to meet. What you need to do now is to track this line back. Again, this is conventionally done with a dotted line. Track both lines backwards to where they cross here. And this is where your image is going to be. So the image I've drawn here is a very uninteresting line. The bottom's on the axis, the bottom of line, my line will be on the axis, and my image is going to be here like this. This is an image that is the right way up. It is a virtual image because it's on this side of the lens. Real images are generally on this side of the lens. And you'll see it is larger than the real object. This converging lens here is probably going to be something like a magnifying glass. So, very, very similar diagram to the one we had before, but you'll notice this time my object is over here. Exactly the same rules apply as before, and it doesn't really matter which way around you draw these lines, just as long as you get them all in. Yet again, the bottom of my image is on the axis, so I don't need to worry about drawing those lines. I need to draw a line from the top of my object through the middle of the lens. From the top of my object, parallel to the axis across, and then refracted down through the principal focus. Oops, 
Let me just... Oh dear. Okay. Uh, but, right. So, my image is going to be down here somewhere. Let me just extend my axis a little bit. <coughs> now, my image is... This is going to be the top of my image, and this is the bottom of my image. You will see this image is real because it's on this side of the lens. It is inverted. The top and the bottom have switched positions and this image is larger than the original image. Okay, so this is the last example that I've seen and this is a diverging image. So I need a, uh, I need a line from the top of my object across and because this is a diverging lens it is going to move up and away like this and then I need a line from the top of my image straight through the middle of the lens. Now because this is a diverging lens what I need to do is to track this line backwards and it's not a coincidence that this is tracked backwards through the focus and where these two lines meet, this is where my image is going to be formed. You'll notice this is a virtual image on this side of the lens. It is smaller than the original object and it is the right way up. Okay, that is it. Those are all of the ray diagrams I have ever seen in a P3 exam. Only five of them. Uh, but they can be asked with lots of words at the beginning. So just take a bit of time, think about what question they're actually asking you. Remember, always use a pencil and a ruler and always, always, always draw your construction lines in.